hi everybody, and uh, welcome to another segment of uh, the show. And uh, today, uh, basically, is going to be on the Golock Martindale Golock machete. Now, the Martindale Golock machete falls right into the affordable EDC, although maybe you don't want to carry this thing everywhere every day. You can use it in uh, your go bag in your trunk of your car, carry it with you every day. Now, I've owned this uh, go lock now for uh, going on to 45 years, and I paid a ridiculous price of $3.99 for it. And uh, today's value, uh, we're looking at a, around 40 50 bucks, depending on where you shop. And also remember, I'm talking USD and I'm talking dead cost of these knives before tax, before shipping, before anything. Just plain dead cost of what you're going to see them advertise for. Now, it falls into the same category, price category, as the Gerber Grizz. Now, <coughs> the Golok Machete, which has a long history of uh, being one of the finest machetes out there, uh, and I can tell you, after 45 years of using this thing, uh, I am totally convinced that I never need another machete ever. Um, like I said, I only paid $3.99 for it. It was the best $3.99 I ever spent. Now, the Golok, which is based on a broadsword, uh, is actually a quite a useful uh, tool in uh, bushcrafting. And if you're prone to uh, using a machete rather than a hatchet, uh, maybe a small axe, uh, but you know, the machete will really get you by for anything that a hatchet would. Now, made out of approximately 1065 seal, it takes a fairly good edge to it, but it will not sharpen up as much as a knife. And also, the uh, grind on these things is a primary grind. And for those of you who watched me uh, sharpen up this uh, go lock with my 5 inch grinder, no matter how good you are with a 5 inch grinder, you're going to get a certain amount of rollover. So, I did spend another uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, on a stone to get this thing to where I wanted it. Now it's ready for the year. Uh, now, I take fairly good care of my knives, not to abuse them too much. And the only thing that uh, has changed with the go lock is I managed to nick the tip uh, every year or two I managed to nick it but other than that and uh, I'll show you exactly what we can do with it uh, don't know if you know, one man show <coughs> so today I uh, I've already uh, chopped down this thing over here and other than uh, I don't have a chopping block so we're not going to get into chopping because everybody knows that the chopping value of these things is very well but at the same time you can still use them They're very good to uh, choke up on and you can still use them to debark or some of the smaller ones it'll take a little bit more to uh, get at this but that being said, if you're, like I said, if you're a person that likes uh, machetes as opposed to hatches or anything, what I would recommend if you're going into the bush with these things over here is carry a saw. Because between the Golok machete and this saw, you can pretty well get you through anything that you really need to. Again, the saw is not going to do the same job as a bow saw or, a, you know, but it will get you by in the bush and that's the important part. Now, I'll show you this one more time before we go. There it is, Martindale Golock. And like I said, I uh, can't see myself purchasing anything else but a Martindale uh, Golock. And uh, certainly for the value, you take care of this knife. It's a knife for life. Thank you very much for joining me. See you on the next one. Bye for now.